five, four, three, two, one. There it goes. Oh, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Hey, good morning. So today I'm gonna to try to do something I've not tried before. And that is I'm gonna to try to get a picture of the International Space Station. Now, really the best or the easiest way maybe, and it's not that easy, is to capture it as it passes in front of the sun or in front of the moon. As you can tell, it's uh, sunny out. So I'm gonna to try to catch it in front of the sun today. I've used uh, transitfinder.com and confirmed it with Stellarium that uh, I am in the exact right spot to have the International Space Station pass in front of the sun at exactly 9, 10, and 11 seconds this morning. So I just spent about 20 minutes setting up my telescope, getting it aligned. It's uh, pointed at the sun right now. I'll show you that in, on my computer in a minute. Um, this is not meant to be an instructional video on how to do it. It's just uh, coming along for the ride here as I try to uh, as I try to capture it. It only takes about a second for it to go in front of the, of the uh, sun, about two seconds actually. Uh, so it'll be it'll be a quick event. I just got to make sure I'm ready for it and I'm capturing uh, pictures when it happens. This is a Celestron Nexstar 6SE telescope. I've got a ZWO 678MC planetary camera on it. It's not the best setup for this. Ideally, I would be able to see the entire disk of the sun. I do have a lens on the back of there, uh, a focal reducer that allows me to see about a third of the sun. So it'll be pretty quick as uh, the ISS passes through there. The conditions are not great today. The sun's pretty low, which means I'm shooting through a lot of atmosphere. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of fuzziness or a lot of waviness in, in the visuals. And it is a little windy out here today too, which doesn't help. It'll move the telescope around a little bit, but uh, I, I'm gonna give it a shot. So uh, come along for the ride with me. Hey, and quickly before we get started, I'll just say, if you like what I'm doing here, leave me that like. Uh, if you've got any questions about what I'm doing, throw it in the comments. If you want to see me do more of this, uh, you know, leave it in the comments, hit the subscribe button. Uh, so let me show you what I got here going on on the computer screen. And the wind is really starting to pick up here. Uh, you can see it moving around my telescope a little bit. Plus you can see that waviness uh, from just the atmospheric disturbance. It was supposed to be a little bit calmer atmosphere today, but they changed the atmospheric uh, forecast overnight and it's uh, what they call below average seeing. Um, so it's not ideal. You can see some nice sunspots here. This is a live view from my scope um, of the sun, the top part of the sun. I want to capture the uh, the ISS as it enters the top of the sun. It's going to pass from the top to the bottom a little bit to the left of center. I wasn't able to find a nice spot to set up my telescope right in the center. So um, let's get this set up so that we can get on the left side of the sun. So I'm just going to move my telescope over a little bit. Just with the controls. Okay, so this is pretty good. So what I expect to see is at 9, 10, and 11 seconds, or 13 seconds, it depends on which forecast I looked at. Uh, it should come a little left to center, so I think this is about center, so a little left, and we should see it just pass top to bottom, uh, and it should take about a second. So I think I'm set up here. I will, uh, I'll let you guys rejoin here in about 12 minutes, uh, just a f which will be just a few minutes before the event's supposed to happen. So we'll see you in a minute. All right, so just letting you in on what the plan is here. Uh, this is my software I'm gonna capture this with. Let's get the sun a little bit farther down. We are three minutes away from go time right now. Uh, let's get this down here. Okay, so I'm just gonna call this uh, ISS. I'm gonna do a two minute capture. I'm doing um, 0.5 millisecond exposures, and I'm just going to run it for two minutes, kind of a minute before and a minute after, just to make sure I catch this thing. And then while it's going on, 
I'm gonna try to see it in real time so that I can just stop it after I catch it. All right, so it's 9.08. I'm gonna start this at 9.09.30. This is 9.08.30 right now. Uh, one minute till I start the capture. Let's get the sun a little bit farther. I'm not aligned perfectly, so the sun keeps kind of creeping out of view. It's supposed to track the sun. Uh, let's go a little bit lower. Okay, I'm gonna go into dark mode here. <laughs> Gotta put a towel over my head so I can see my computer screen better. Hopefully this doesn't raise any crazy questions. Okay, this is good. Now, uh, 9.09.30, I'm gonna go ahead and start the capture. Okay, we can see we're at about at about 50 frames per second. That's good. So we should get 50 pictures of it as it passes through the top part of the sun. And it's sticking at 50. That's good. All right, we are about 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There it goes. Oh, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. I caught it. I can't believe it. I'm going to stop this capture. That was so cool. It only showed up like three, three frames on here. Four, three, two, one. There it goes. Oh, that was awesome. Um, but I think I got some good pictures of it. It should have about, I don't know, 40 or 50 pictures of it as it crossed uh, the sun. That was so awesome. I can't believe that actually worked. Okay, well, I'm going to pack up, uh, go home where I can uh, work out of the sun and uh, see if I can grab some of those pictures and share them with you guys.